So this is going to be a video just on the muscles of the eye on page 109. Uh, they are extrinsic muscles of the eye. So that extrinsic means that the muscles do not originate in the eye itself, but um, move the eye from outside the eye itself. So let's look at our diagram here. The first muscle in the list, or actually if you look at the first four, they are all called rectus muscles. Rectus means straight. So the origin for most of our muscles here are all on the sphenoid bone. If you look at this diagram, this portion back here is going to be our sphenoid. And our superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, and lateral rectus just describe their position. They're straight on the eye. This one you can see is a straight muscle on the lateral eyes, lateral rectus. This muscle down here, inferior rectus. We can look up and we can find our superior rectus here. And we can find, uh, we actually you cannot see the medial rectus on this diagram because it's obscured by the eye itself. But if we look at this next diagram, we can see one, the superior rectus, lateral rectus, medial rectus, and inferior rectus. They're all straight muscles that will move the eye in the direction of their name. So that's pretty easy. Superior rectus rolls the eye superiorly. Medial rectus rolls the eye medially, etc. So, um, if we look at the insertions, the term is sclera of the eye. So the sclera is this white part of the eye. It is a layer, the very outside layer of your eye that we'll talk about more in the, in the nervous system. Um, if we look at our obliques, however, so the last two muscles are superior oblique and lateral oblique. I'm sorry, superior oblique and inferior oblique. Uh, those are muscles that insert onto the eye at an angle. So oblique refers to that angle. So let's look at this um, image. So we have this superior oblique coming from the posterior eye. And what's interesting about this one, and you do want to know the structure, this trochlea here. It's a sling that the tendon of our superior oblique runs through. So it can hit and insert on the eye in this really um, acute angle. And then if we look down here, our inferior oblique also uh, inserts onto our eye obliquely or at an angle. So in this view, you can see the inferior oblique and the superior oblique, you can see here, it comes up, does a turn in our trochlea, inserting onto the sclera of the eye. So if you look um, at the actions, the um, superior oblique kind of does something that you would think is counterintuitive. So you think it's a superior muscle, it moves the eye superiorly, but in fact it does the opposite. So it looks down and laterally um, in torsion or rolls the eye in, and then the inferior oblique looks up and laterally and also rolls the eye out. So both your obliques can roll the eye, um, and the superior oblique looks down and laterally. So I have a couple of eye uh, images here. So this is Michelle Obama, obviously. <laughs> She's giving uh, President or our ex-President Obama the side eye, but what's going on with her eyes, right? She can move her eyes in this direction because this eye is moving laterally, right? So her lateral rectus is being contracted here. Um, and so uh, this eye is doing the opposite. It's moving medially, right? So the eye is moving in towards her nose or medially. So the other terms you can use for this action is an abduction, A-B-D. An abduction of this eye, so this is moving away from the midline, so that is an abducting action of the eye. And this one is moving towards the midline, so this is a DD, adduction of the eye. And uh, when we get to um, our nervous system, there is actually a nerve called the um, abductor that abducts the eye. All right, um, this is kind of that superior oblique action so we're looking down and laterally like someone's trying to cheat on a test so this eye here is moving downward and laterally so this eye is using its superior oblique muscle okay so we're going to end up really quick with a question here what muscle does not turn the eye and if you're thinking to yourself Where's levator palpebrae superioris? This is the only muscle in the list that did not turn the eye. So remember this muscle. This is one that elevates your upper eyelid. 
palpebrae is the eyelid, superioris describes which eyelid is the upper eyelid. So this is, does not. So let's go review where was that muscle, right? So this uh, levator palpebrae superioris is the muscle. If you look and you follow it along, it actually goes and inserts into the upper eyelid, right? The flesh of our eyelid. All the rest of the muscles here will insert onto the eye. So these are all external or extrinsic muscles of the eye.